I'm a California resident, but I still have ammo shipped to my door. If you want to know how that works, I got a video describing how to do that in the state of California, but moving on. So today I kind of wanted to talk about the assault weapon bans and me being a California resident, you might think that I want to talk about specifically what we got going on and what we've had going on. But today that's not necessarily what I'm talking about. <clears throat> it's going to directly, it's going to indirectly relate to it, but it's not exactly the same thing. I've been seeing over the last like week or so, it seems like, you know, states like Virginia, Arizona, um, Florida, Georgia, a bunch of states that have typically been very pro-gun have been enacting or proposing new assault weapon regulations. And they all kind of stem from the same thing, banning guns based off features. And they're typically the same exact thing that California and New York have, have used as like the model for what an assault weapon ban should be. Um, and I want to tell you today why I think that those don't matter and why I think that we can stop those. And the most important battle that we're facing is something that many people might not even be aware of because they're not already informed on it because they don't live in California. And now let's talk about that. So California, our assault weapon ban, it's been around since the same ban that was federally. It just got pushed out forever. It's been pretty much the same for a long time. There were some minor changes to it recently, and that's currently being challenged in court. And the reason that's important is because the Firearms Policy Coalition has a court case, Miller versus Becerra, where they are actually going through and challenging the entirety of the assault weapon ban using a previous decision that happened earlier with the uh, magazine capacity laws that we had. Now, we're gonna talk about why that's important. So on March 19th of this year, at the Ninth Circuit, Judge Benitez, the same person who gave us the ability to easily access magazines in California, is gonna be hearing an injunction for the assault weapon case, potentially putting it at a stay. That's not necessarily gonna help all the other states that are currently fighting this. However, if this lawsuit is able to escalate to the Ninth Circuit, on a court of appeals, to the Supreme Court, it could potentially have a massive implication for the rest of the states, because if we're able to get an assault weapon case up to the Supreme Court, it would make null and void all of these states that are currently trying to ban assault weapons. And while it is important, and I'm not going to tell you to not write your legislators and do whatever it is that you're currently doing to fight that in your specific states, I want to talk about, I kind of just wanted to talk about why I think it's important for everyone to be supporting the Firearms Policy Coalition right now, because they could potentially be on the verge of a major breakthrough and could potentially stop assault weapon bans from being a thing federally at a national level and stop all these states from being able to enact their own. And this would prevent them from having them. And this would get rid of the ones that are currently in place and stop them from potentially putting them into place in the future because these laws that they've been trying to write have never really been challenged in court in the right way. And this could be it. This is huge. And I don't think people that aren't California residents are talking about this enough. So if you're not already, I urge you to become a member, to donate, and to support the Firearms Policy Coalition because this could be huge for everyone. Because if we're able to successfully make a big court case for the federal level, this would be insane. This would stop all these laws from happening. This would be a major court case that could potentially be built on in the future. Because if we're able to get a court case win that says they can't ban very specific types of firearms, who knows what the implications like that could be in the future for NFA items or anything like that, or the handgun roster in our state or in any other state. This is huge, and I think that people definitely need to be made aware of it, and I wanted to talk about that today. If you have any questions, feel free to, link, feel free to comment below. Um, I hope you all have a great day. Peace.